Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. The ancient Israelites, also known as Hebrews or Jews, arguably represent the most prominent people in the sacred scriptures of the Bible. Many are familiar with their language, culture, and especially with the ancestral Judaism of the prophets, priests, and other characters of the Old Testament. However, few have knowledge about the genetic origin of the ancient Israelites. In this video, my goal is to present some studies of ancient Jewish genomes in order to provide a broader understanding of the Jewish groups that bear the closest proximity to the ancient Israelites. The Mystery of Ancient Israelite DNA Genetic studies of Jews are an integral part of the discipline of population genetics, being used to investigate the chronology of Jewish migrations, accompanied by research in various other fields such as history, linguistics, archaeology, and paleontology. These investigations seek to understand the origins of various Jewish ethnic divisions, particularly examining whether there is a common genetic heritage among them, in other words, a kind of genetic Abraham. Studies on Jewish populations have been mainly conducted through three types of genealogical DNA tests, autosomal DNA, at DNA, mitochondrial DNA, mtDNA, and the Y chromosome, Y-DNA. Autosomal DNA tests, which analyze the mixture of all DNA, show that Jewish populations tend to form genetically isolated, relatively related groups in independent communities. Most of these communities share significant ancestors with Ashkenazi Jews, forming such a group. mtDNA and Y-DNA tests, on the other hand, analyze maternal and paternal ancestry, respectively, through two small groups of genes transmitted only by female or male ancestors. Studies on the genetic composition of Ashkenazi, Sephardic, and Mizrahi Jewish communities of the Jewish diaspora reveal a notable presence of shared ancestry from the Middle East. Let's briefly explore each of these communities, starting with the Ashkenazi. This group is one of the largest subdivisions of Judaism, with roots in the regions of Central and Eastern Europe, such as Germany, Poland, Russia, and neighboring countries. Throughout history, they have developed their own liturgical traditions, customs, and dialects of the Hebrew language. For centuries, Ashkenazi communities have profoundly influenced European culture and contributed significantly to fields such as literature, philosophy, and science. Next, we have the Sephardic communities, whose origins date back to the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, as well as regions of North Africa and the Middle East. The term, Sephardic, is derived from the Hebrew name for Spain. In the 15th century, many Sephardic Jews were expelled from Spain during the Spanish Inquisition, subsequently dispersing throughout the world and establishing communities in countries such as Morocco, Turkey, Greece, and Egypt, among others. Sephardic communities maintain distinct cultural, liturgical, and culinary traditions, reflecting their geographic and historical origins. Additionally, there are the Mizraim, or Mizrahi, a term referring to Jewish communities originating from the Middle East and North Africa. With a history dating back thousands of years, these communities have roots in countries such as Iraq, Iran, Egypt, Syria, and Lebanon. They preserve their own religious, cultural, and linguistic traditions, often different from Ashkenazi in Sephardic communities. Although they share the Jewish faith, Mizrahi communities have a unique history and experience, shaped by interactions with local cultures and societies over the centuries. These three subdivisions represent only a part of Jewish history and culture, demonstrating the diversity and resilience of the Jewish people over time and across the world. Several Jewish groups demonstrate a broad and striking genetic proximity to the current Lebanese, Palestinians, Bedouins, Druze Arabs, Jordanians and Syrians, in addition to populations from that region that encompasses the region called Mesopotamia. Jews residing in Europe, such as in Italy, Germany, Poland, Ukraine, and Russia, among other European countries, often exhibit a variety of genetic overlaps with the historical non-Jewish population along maternal lines. This suggests that there has been some mixing with certain European populations, especially in the case of Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews, primarily from Southern Europe, 
although also from other European regions. Some researchers even observe relationships between Ashkenazi Jews and certain European populations due to interbreeding that occurred long ago. Genetic studies indicate that Bene Israel Jews, Jews from Cochin in India, and Beta Israel from Ethiopia, although sharing similarities with local populations, also show traces of Jewish ancestry or other Semitic populations, as is the case with Ethiopian Jews. Additionally, there are various Jewish groups with varied ancestries, some more significant than others, reflected in genetic studies of ancient Israelite DNA. The Jews of Ethiopia, also known as Beta Israel or Falasha, have a unique and fascinating history. Historically, the Beta Israel are believed to be descendants of the lost tribes of Israel, specifically the tribe of Dan or the tribe of Manasseh. They are believed to have migrated to Ethiopia thousands of years ago, possibly during the times of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba. For centuries, the Beta Israel lived in relative isolation in Ethiopia, maintaining distinct religious and cultural practices. They practiced a unique form of Judaism, which incorporated elements of the Old Testament but also differed in some aspects from mainstream Jewish traditions. In addition to the Jews, there are also the ancient Samaritans who persist to this day and share a significant portion of their genetic heritage with the ancient Israelites. Palestinians, in turn, inherit part of this DNA due to the ancient Jewish presence in the region where they currently reside. According to a 2017 study published in Frontiers in Genetics, principal component analyses indicate a genetic affinity between ancient Levantines and contemporary Palestinians, including the Bedouins of the Levant region. Furthermore, a 2017 study in the American Journal of Human Genetics suggests a predominant Levantine ancestry among Palestinians, with an overlap between the Bronze Age and the current Levantine population, indicating genetic continuity in the region. A more recent study, in 2020, revealed significant genetic continuity between the human remains of Palestinian and Israelite populations from the Bronze Age, suggesting a genetic linkage between various Arabic-speaking groups in the region. Palestinians, like the Druze, Lebanese, Jordanians, Bedouins, and Syrians, as well as various Jewish groups such as Ashkenazi Jews, Mizrahi Jews, Iranians, and Moroccans, have been the subject of studies on their ancestry. It has been found that Palestinians, among other Levantines, derive about 81% of their ancestry from ancient Levantines of the Bronze Age, who are related to the ancient Israelites and several other Semitic tribes that inhabited the region, including the Canaanites themselves. Regarding Ashkenazi Jews, genetic studies have revealed that, in addition to ancient Israelite Semitic DNA, they also have an average of 42% to 60% of European ancestry, derived from Germanic, Italian, and Slavic peoples. When analyzing ancient Semitic Israelite genetics in current Jewish groups, Ashkenazi Jews are shown to have between 20% to 28% of their genetics derived from ancient Israelites, with some reaching up to 39%. Yes, Ashkenazi Jews have 20% to 28%, reaching a maximum of 39%, of ancient Israelite genetics in their DNA. The majority of their ancestry, about 58% to 60%, is of European origin, resulting from mixtures during the diasporas with Europeans. In contrast, Sephardic Jews show a slightly higher percentage of ancient Israelite origin in their genetics compared to Ashkenazim, but approximately half of their genetic composition is similar to that of Ashkenazim, with European influence. As for Mizrahi Jews, who remained in the Middle East and did not mix with European peoples, they have a significant percentage of their genetics, exceeding 63%, derived from ancient Israelites. Among Jewish groups, Mizrahi Jews are the closest genetically to the ancient Israelites. Many people wonder which current Jewish group is most similar, both genetically and historically, to the ancient Jews of the Bible, and the answer is clear, Mizrahi Jews. Although Ashkenazi and Sephardic Jews are also descendants of the ancient Jews, their genetic affinity is lower compared to Mizrahi Jews. 
I hope you have enjoyed this video and have learned a little more about the genetics of the ancient Israelites and the Jewish groups most related to them today. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave your like and share it with those who have similar interests in the genetics of the ancient Israelites. May God bless you and see you soon.